What do you think is the biggest regret of elderly men on their deathbed? Well, in this video, I'll share it with you. And I'll also give you some advice on how you can avoid it. One of my favourite books is by Bronnie Ware. It's called The Five Regrets of the Dying. Bronnie is a palliative care nurse. She looks after people in the last days of their lives when they're facing up to the consequences of their actions. And she shares in her book the biggest regret that men have. And that regret is they wish they hadn't worked so hard. So why do men wish they hadn't worked so hard? Well, here's the reason. It's very simple. They've missed out on so many things in life. And the two biggest things they've missed out on are the companionship of their partner and the childhood of their children. And that is an absolute travesty. To swap hours with your loved ones so that you can grind away at work on the hamster wheel is just madness. And I'm not surprised to hear that that is the biggest regret that elderly men have on their deathbed. So why do men work so hard? Why do they work so hard that they will miss out on all those good things with their families? Well, here's the reason. They're usually climbing a ladder, a ladder that's against a wall. I've mentioned the ladder and the wall in a previous video. They get obsessed with promotions. They get obsessed with power. They get obsessed with responsibility. Every evening I take a walk on my own around York. It's time to reflect on a few things. Today I'm in the Museum Gardens, which is the host of this magnificent building behind me, the Hospitium. I'll also share some video of it for those of you that are interested in these ancient buildings. And one of the things I've been reflecting on is my own journey from a, a high driven, go getting business owner and leader to somebody who was happy to never work again. I decided to retire when I was 44. I had a wake up call. That wake up call was a life changing event. It was the death of my father when I was just 43 and he was only 74. It was an opportunity for me to reevaluate my life, look back over the last 20 years and decide what I was going to do with the next 20, hopefully even 40. I made the decision to quit full-time work so that I could spend more time with my young family. Yes, I could have achieved a lot more and there are people in the comments that feel that I wasted my talents, I wasted the potential opportunities that were maybe going to be ahead of me, but I made the decision that spending time with my then six or seven year old son was far more important than chasing accolades, awards, more responsibility and more money. And I have no regrets that I made that decision. It was the best decision I could have made. It was better for me, for my health, especially my mental health, and it was good for my family. I spent a lot of time with my son and a lot of time with my wife and I've got happy memories of our travels and our time spent together that are going to keep me going forever. And the sad fact is that if I'd have stayed at work, like many men do, I wouldn't have experienced even 75% of those things. I'd have just relied on a couple of weeks holiday every year. And whilst I'm on holiday, no doubt I would have done a little bit of work, sent a few emails, made a few mobile phone calls, but I didn't have any of that. After 44 years of age, I could focus 100% of my effort and my attention on my family. So there is one regret that I definitely will not have on my deathbed if I make it into my 80s or 90s. And that is the regret that I wished I hadn't worked so hard because I didn't, not after 44 years of age. I did from 19 through to 44. I worked excessively long hours. I probably worked twice as many hours as a normal man would do in a lifetime of work. So you could argue that I've served my time and I kind of feel that that's true. I understand that not many men can retire at 44. I'm exceptional in that sense. It was a unique set of circumstances that came together and allowed me to do that. However, I do think 
that men spend far too much time on the hamster wheel, on the corporate grind, when they don't really need to. They make excuses often to be climbing the ladder and I don't think it's necessary. So I would urge you, if you are one of them, stop, take a look around. Can you do your work a little bit more effectively, less time, so you can spend more time doing the things that you enjoy? And particularly if you're a family man, can you spend more time with your children, your wife, your partner? I would urge you to consider that question. Here's the reality. If you keep working all the way through to 67, which is the retirement age now in the UK, and I think also in the US, when you do finally retire, when you finally put out to pasture, think of all those wasted hours, the time that you didn't spend doing the things that you could have been. And you can't get that time back. Time isn't infinite. It's not replenishable. It's not like your car topping it up with petrol. Once it's gone, it's gone. And if you wait until you're 67 to start living your life with a little bit more meaning and purpose, then you've wasted far too much time. If you get to 67 and you retire, how long do you think you've really got ahead of you? The modal age of death for men in the UK and the US is 87. What modal means is it's the most common age that men die. But the average age of death is much lower than that. Are you prepared to take the risk? Are you really going to keep at the grindstone thinking that you're going to get another 30, 40 years ahead of you? And what if you do? How many of those are going to be healthy years? Once you get to 67, 70, that kind of age, how long do you think you've got before illness starts to take control? I have a good friend who's a surgeon. He's around the same age as me. And for many years now, he has told me that after 70, the wheels start to fall off. And in his opinion, your 60s are your final good years. Now that sounds a bit harsh. I'm hoping to do better than that, but I can see his point. My own father died at 74. What if I die at 74? Thank goodness I retired at 44. At least I'll get 30 years ahead of me. So these are sobering thoughts. So I'll leave you with that thought. Do you really want to be an elderly gentleman on his deathbed, regretting that you wished you hadn't worked so hard? Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.